Good evening. I'm Seth Nimby, founder and owner of Nimcorp Media Enterprises and Payday Loan. If you need cash fast, with no questions asked, look to the man in the mask. Nimby. N-I-M-B-Y spells money. <clears throat> As you know, Nimcorp Enterprises is the proud sponsor of Chiller Thriller Theater which has provided you, the viewer, with endless hours of high-quality free entertainment. That's right, you skinflints. Haven't had to pay a thing for this. Boss, be nice. <clears throat> yes, well, critically acclaimed cinema like ours doesn't grow on trees, you know. No, it's found underneath them. And finding this rub uh, um, I mean, providing quality viewing like this is getting harder all the time. Not as easy as shopping at Nimmy's House of Staplers. We've got big ones, we've got small ones, we've got some as big as your head. Staple up to two papers together at the same time. So come on down to Nimby's House of Staplers in the Stapler District, downtown Mooseman. Boss, can we possibly do this without any more commercials? My arm's about to fall off. And you know how hard it is to stick back on again. Sounds like you need a stapler from Nimby's House of Staplers! That's it. I'm taking a break until you're ready to do this. <sighs> okay, okay. I get the message. We didn't want to do this, but you leave us no choice. We need your support if Chiller Thriller Theater is going to continue. So please donate at www.chillerthrillermovie.com. If you don't, will be forced to show you Drek likes tonight's movie. Boss, you wouldn't. <coughs> they give me no choice. We need to see these donations coming in, or we'll be forced to show Plan 9 from Outer Space. And what's wrong with that? It's the best picture you'll ever show. Boss, do you know who this is? That's the ghost of producer, director, writer of Plan 9 from Outer Space, Ed Wood. Back from the grave and fabulous. Uh, ugh. Oh, that looks like my barbed up alphabet soup. And you say that I made schlock. Ooh. Hey, be nice to Igor. He worked hard on that. I wouldn't talk, girlfriend. What's up with that boring black and white outfit? You look like you're cross between Lily Munster and Wilma Flintstone. What? If I had to wear that outfit, I'd crawl right back into my grave and I'd die. Again. Why don't we just calm down and see what Frank has to say about tonight's movie on Frank's conditional back. Plan 9 from Outer Space, probably the most written about bad movie ever made. It has been voted the worst movie ever made by people who haven't seen a lot of movies. It is, it is maybe the worst movie that people can enjoy. It is not by any means the worst movie ever made. But one thing that happens when you watch an Ed Wood movie is you never lose track of the fact you're watching a movie. It's like you're standing beside him in his garage while he tries to film this thing. And that, uh, for some people, that has a great charm, and for some, it is just an utter turnoff. That's a personal decision. But his movies, when you get into them, are so interesting because you can see what's going on behind the scenes. The, the schlockiness, the shower curtain for a, for, for an, a, the shower curtain for the inside of an airplane, the, uh, the artificial grass for, the, for a lawn. You could just see it. Day, one shot will be during the daytime, then the camera angle changes, and all of a sudden it's nighttime, then it goes back again. I mean, you never forget what's going on. And that, for some people, that has an almost surreal effect, and it can make Ed Wood much more than watchable. His movies are never boring. He loves to put in stock footage. He loves to put in everything he can find. He films and fits and starts as he has the money. He, uh, he, Bela Lugosi, whose appearance in this movie is often, often written about, never heard of Plan 9 from Outer Space. 
Uh, he, he shot some film for, uh, basically home movie style film for Ed Wood before he died. Uh, Ed Wood shot some footage of him in his vampire regalia uh, shortly before he died. The set on Ed Wood's shelf for months or years until he came up with the backing and worked it in the movie. He works this in. He works uh, stock footage of fighter jets. He works all sorts of stock footage in his movies. Uh, he brings in uh, Tor Johnson. And there is one, I mean, as, as bad as this movie is, and, and I get into the movie, I enjoy it, but it is a bad movie. There is one chilling scene in this movie when Tor Johnson, Johnson rises from his grave. And, uh, and it, wow, you go, wow, that is effective. Uh, Vampire is in this movie, doing nothing more than walking around as if she has bad arthritis. Uh, there is thought in this movie, there is one scene where the where uh, Eros, the, the leader of the, of the space invaders, looks out the window and says, you know, they're there to basically, the, it's very much a ripoff uh, plot-wise of the day, the day the Earth stood still. Aliens have come to stop us from this atomic testing and all that because they, they fear it will destroy the universe. And there's, there's one moment where, the, where Eros just looks out the window into the heavens and says, you know, this could all be gone someday. And he, he waxes on this, and, it, and, it's, and it's, you know, amidst the absurdity, it's, over to look, it's easy to overlook what a moving, movie, a moving moment that is. Uh, and, there, and what you can really get into on the front end and the, and the back end of this movie is the strident narration of Criswell who was a, a TV psychic, uh, something of a nut, who made crazy predictions, but he is, and I mean, he throws himself into this narration like he, he's really warning you that, you know, you do this or the, or the world will end, and it's, and it's funny in a sense, but it is effective, and uh, it's over the top, and you can't help but love it. So, uh, get into this movie, and you can, you really enjoy it. Plan 9 from Outer Space. Frank Delastria was author of a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, the mythology and history of classic horror films, Vampire Over London, Bella Lugosi in Britain, and I Saw What I Saw What I Saw It, growing up in the 1950s and 1960s with television reruns and old movies. Actually, Frank didn't make that movie sound so bad, boss. At least he knows quality when he sees it. I know. I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing it. Uh, the phones still aren't ringing, boss. <sighs> okay. I really didn't want to do this, but here it goes. If you don't start helping to sponsor Chiller Thriller Theater, I'll have to fill this time slot with Igor's party trick. Boss! My big chance! Oh, thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Ugh. I have a feeling we will. Say, honey, seeing as you're dressed like a waitress, uh, how about get, give me a cup of coffee and a Danish? See, folks, we're serious about this. Roll the movie! Well, it's been a tough night, but you came through. Just like NIMBY brand NIMNUTS breakfast cereal comes through with all the bran and fiber you need to get through the day. So start every day with two or three heaping bowls of NIMNUTS. Thanks to all the desperate people who donated to our worthy cause, we can now proudly say that we've raised a grand total of $14.78. What? 15 lousy bucks! $14.78. <laughs> what time does the lotto store close? Oh. Oh, what happened? Oh. Oh. 
Did Tor Johnson show me his wrestling moves again? Uh, no, Mr. Wood. The telethon is over. And your movie helped us raise $15. $14.78. That's enough for my next movie. Oh. Wait, Mr. Wood, come back. That's not even a real check. What does he think he's going to do with that? Make another movie, like he said. Hey, I wonder if you'll let us show it here.